You should now have saved your PSD or Photoshop document in your own name. Now we're going to learn the different parts of the Photoshop window. The window is the open document or image. Everything that you have done is in the open window. The menu bar is located at the very top of your screen, above the Photoshop window. This is the menu where you can find many of the basic functions like saving and opening files, but there is much more that you can do from here, which we'll get into later. The toolbox is located to the left of your screen. This is where you find, you guessed it, tools. Tools that can be used to manipulate your photos. If you hover over each tool, you'll notice that you get the name of the tool and you also get a shortcut key. So in this case, V. So if I have this one, shortcut M, I click M, then it will switch tools. Then I can switch back to the move tool with V. This can be very helpful for you. Your toolbox may not look exactly like mine. It can be customized to fit your personal preference. The double arrow will move tools into one or two columns, like so. This is really a personal preference, but you really need to be careful about not moving the toolbox from this bar. If you move it, then it will take it out of what we call the nesting place. So now it's just a free um, pop-up, and you can put it wherever you want it. If you wanted it over here, you can move it over here. But to put it back where you had it, you wait for that blue line, and then you can let go. Again, if you want a single line, you just click that double arrow. The option bar is located below the menu bar. This bar contains options available for the tool that you currently have selected. And right now I have the Move tool selected. So you have options for the Move tool. If I switch to the Marquee tool, you'll see it change. If I switch to the Lasso tool, it'll change. And so on and so forth. The Palette is the menu on the right of your screen. There are many helpful tools here which we'll explore in more detail as you learn more about the program. The two that I really want to talk about today are the layers, here, and your history, here. First, the layers. The layers are very important in this program. To explain layers, let's say that you have a Manila folder. This folder will represent your Photoshop window. Inside of this folder, you find many different layers of different kinds. You have transparent layers, like this one, and like this one. And then you also have solid layers, layers that you can't see through. I can't see the blue, and on this one I can't see the yellow one. You can have several colors, but when you get to the top you can see through some of these layers to the bottom layer. And the text layers work this way too. If you have a text layer, then the only thing you can see on that layer is the text, but you can see through to other layers. And if I get rid of one of the layers, then you'll be able to see that layer. But if I put a layer on top of that text, then you will no longer be able to see that text layer. That's just an introduction on how the layers in Photoshop work. This will make more sense as you work with Photoshop, but for now, just know that the layer that you have highlighted will be blue and you're going to be editing on that layer. So if I switch, this one's blue and now I'm going to be editing that layer. The history is basically your undo button and it would be located here. If you don't have it for some reason, you can go to window and find it. But your history allows you to undo any previous action. Right now I haven't done anything on this document, but let's say I'd done a few things. Let me get on a layer that I can work on. Let's say that I brushed on here a little bit, and you can't see my brush tool. Let me switch colors. Let's say I brushed on here a little bit, 
And you can see that as I add marks, it adds steps. And so in your history, I can skip back one step or I can skip back several steps. And I just go back by clicking on a previous step. You can undo up to 60 in the history palette. So be careful about how much you need to undo. Now take a minute and follow the second and third set of instructions. In order to complete these actions, you will need to know how to use the move tool. The move tool is here, located in your toolbox. You'll need to move each of the words from the word bank in your layer palette. So here's your word bank in your layer palette. I just click on this down arrow. Then to move the window, I'm just going to click on window and drag it to where it belongs. So window belongs here. And then I will do the rest by clicking on the layer and moving the word. For the third set of instructions, you will need to know how to use the text tool. It is represented by a capital T in the toolbox. To type, simply click and drag, and then you will type inside of that toolbox. However, note that there is no automatic spell check for this program. So when you finish, you will need to go to Edit Check Spelling. 